Hi everyone. Welcome. We are Group Management. And we are going to introduce to you our finger puppet management project for spring 2017. We have been grouped together to successfully connect our own TV show with the management concepts introduced in this course. Our group put together a little creativity and innovation to come up with the characters, the storyline, and the fulfillment of our milestones. In the next few slides, we will include a few introductions for each member to show the diversity of our group. For our Finger Puppet Management TV show, we worked on the idea of a show based on superheroes, the Golden Rain. They are a team of six superheroes that can sometimes work in harmony and then sometimes clash with one another, making the Golden Child's leadership responsibility quite challenging. For our first milestone, we laid the groundwork for the full TV show. This included the character lists and initial episodes. Next few slides, we'd like to introduce to you the six superheroes and their unique characteristics and skills. But to summarize, the head honcho of the Golden Rays is the Golden Shroud. He is an organized and skilled leader who is focused on building a standardized team and strong strategies to save the world. In some episodes, we see that he not only can strategize to save the world, but also save the future of his team. Our other characters include Commander Cranium, the Leopard, Duke, Hex, and later on in the show, we introduce a new member and a new managerial concept, the Mamba. The Golden Shroud is a team leader. He's charismatic, creative, and he communicates well with the entire team. He's responsible for delegating tasks to his coworkers, as well as maintaining the harmony of his superhero team. Overall, he is great with technical and interpersonal skills, and he's just overall awesome. Commander Cranium does have some great skills. He's strong, punctual, and he's ready to complete his goals. However, he does clash with the Golden Shroud from time to time due to his stubbornness and occasionally being overconfident. Throughout the show, he has room for improvement in the areas of following tactical plans and translating operational plans a little bit better to the rest of the team. The Leopard is a character of strength, stealthiness, and has great ability to rise to action. Throughout the show, we see his improvement 
in his accountability and goal achievement, as well as individual decision making. Duke has a very strong bond with another character, Hex. Fortunately, together, they don't listen very often throughout the show to the Golden Shroud's decision making. They need to learn to work together as an entire team. Hex is a little bit of a tough character. He does have a little bit of issues with authority, decision making, and it's hard for Hex to contribute to the overall team strategies and goals in a productive manner. But throughout the TV show, we will see his improvement and how he'll learn to lead others in a positive way and contribute to the culture of the group. Amber is the latest member of the group. She comes in later and she monitors and she reflects on what the, how the team's doing. And, and she's a very good tactician. She leads by example and understands all the characters do this. Most of them, most of the heroes open up to her and she gets to know them in her backstory. Mamma gets added to the Golden Rage. She sees a group in action and decides to contact them for an interview. Now, hmm. Yeah, she works well with the other team members and brings a unification to the team. And Mamba is great at defining the team members' individualism and utilizing it to the team's advantage. In episode one, we do see the team team accomplish a goal. However, their egos and characteristics do get in the way. This proves to the Golden Shroud that he needs to use his management skills to communicate to the group that all their efforts are needed and that egos need to be put aside. Episode 2 is a great part in the beginning of the show that gives an example of cohesive teamwork and a situation where the team has to really use their own unique skills to accomplish two different goals simultaneously. Episode 6 is a great episode where the team really starts forming, coming together, especially with the introduction of Mamba. Duke and Hex start to see that their ways hurt the team's productivity. We start to see the Golden Rays go through some unfreezing and organizational structure changes. Episode 7, A Long Road Ahead In Episode 7, we follow the team as their morale is weak due to complications in their previous mission where a civilian was hurt. Just before they gave up on being superheroes, the alarm goes off indicating that a crime is underway. What the team does not know is that the Gold Trout and Mamba set this crime up as a job enrichment tactic for the team's motivation. The crime is a simple one. One of Shroud's friends acts as a victim to a purse snatching crime where the perpetrator has fled the scene. The crowd falls for this ruse and pumps the team up to save the day. The Gold Shroud then gives the team one final pep talk, causing the group's self-efficacy to skyrocket. After searching the city, the team finds the purse and an apology letter from the criminal. After returning the purse, the team gets a thank you dinner and will serve as positive reinforcement for the team to continue their vital role as heroes to the city and to protect the people they care about. We as a group have made many leaps and bounds for what we produce for this class with all the challenges we come across. All of us have many classes, jobs, and time frames that we can work in that do not always overlap with each other. So we use GroupMe, an app that connects us together. 
We can file share and communicate to each other what goals we have for the week and who can get to them so we can put out a final product that we are all proud of. We have very organized, motivated, and creative team members, and we work very well with each other, even though we strictly work online with each other. Austin was in charge of episodes and was our creator for our show. Cheyenne worked on episodes, concepts, and character design. I worked on episodes and character design. Leilani worked on episodes and character concepts. Roma worked on our end product design and was our illustrator throughout the semester. In my, in, in my time of working on this project, I've learned how to deal with groups, even though that they are, even though that we rarely meet. This class is very different from the ones I'm used to. Other classes might have had us work in groups for a single project, whereas this class has had us pair for an entire semester. This has given me a lot of experience in management and delegation skills to use in the future. Other times, my own performance determines my own grade, whereas here, my performance affects the rest of the group. And that adds to some responsibility to the assignments. I enjoy working with my group, and I feel like we work pretty easily with each other in our strengths and our weaknesses. This project has definitely taught me about different concepts on management and how to apply them to different situations. It has also taught me how to work with the team and how to communicate my ideas easier. Working with an online group is definitely a new experience for me, but I wouldn't call it difficult. We all have our ideas expressed and it shows in our project. We have a good structure set in our team for who has what job and everyone is willing to participate in developing our show. As we progress, I look back to what I knew before I started this project, and I'm amazed at how much has been done throughout the semester. Thank you. We appreciate you taking the time to review our project we spent so much time and energy into. Hopefully you learned some cool new concepts on management and are inspired by our project. Have a nice day.